I purchased this floral fabric from Joann Fabrics and I want to share with you the top that I plan to make with it. So I want to make McCall 7957. I really like the view that the model is wearing. I like that it's sleeveless and it has a rounded hem in the back. But my plan is to make the front length of view C. So view C in the front is just a little bit longer than view A in the front. So that is my plan. And I spent this morning reading through the directions because I've never sewn anything that has this little crossover twist kind of construction in the front. So I wanted to see how it was done and it doesn't look like it will be very hard. The pattern on the back says that it is an easy pattern. There is a pleat in the back. And then as I was reading through the directions, there is a dart. I believe the dart is in the shoulder area. So I'm coming in my sewing room to drop off my pattern and my fabric. So it'll be in here when I am ready to get sewing. Oh my goodness, look, I made a note to myself. Change needle. I do need to change my needle because the needle that is in there has been in there for a very, very long time. wanted to check in with you all I am out and about I actually have to pick someone up from the airport and I left home early so that I can kind of just mosey on to the airport but stop at different places along the way right now I'm sitting outside of Sabres I went in there and I shopped around but I didn't find anything I actually picked up a pair of jeans, but when I looked around the store, they took out all of the dressing rooms. And then I asked one of the salespersons just to make sure that, you know, I wasn't overlooking it. And I said, you know, do you have any dressing rooms? And she's like, no, I'm sorry. So they took them out because they used to. So I'm assuming maybe because of COVID. But I went and picked up some makeup. So I stopped at Ulta and I picked up this mascara. I saw it, I think I saw it in a magazine or somewhere. I don't know where I saw it. And I was like, oh, I wanna try it. And I like it, I have it on and I feel like it really did what it said that it would do. It's called Bad Gal, G-A-L, 36 full blast volume, 36 hour, I guess. And this is by, I think it's Benefit. Yes, by Benefit. And this is what it looks like. I like it. I am really happy with this mascara. And then while I was at Benefit, I also bought some concealer. This concealer is so cute because it looks like a little pencil, but I also put this on. I don't know if you could tell, but I put this on under my eyes and I like this one too. So that always makes me happy because then, you know, I don't have to worry about making a return. So anyway, I am going to head on to LA and then while I'm there, I still think I have plenty of time before I have to make it to the actual airport. So I may see if I can find a Joann Fabrics and see if there are any patterns on sale and just spend some time browsing around the store while I'm in LA waiting to make it to the airport. So I made it to Joann Fabrics. I'm sitting in the parking lot and I am getting ready to go into the store. I'm excited because I want to see if this Joann Fabrics is any different than any other Joann Fabrics. <music>
enjoyed the Joanne fabrics. I did not expect it to have two levels so I thought that that was cool and I do think that they had a little more fabric than some of the other Joannes that I have been to um, but I know that they're all different. <music> I am about to start cutting out the pattern and I am going to need pieces one, two, and four. Even though these are the pieces you need for view A, piece number one has where you would cut here for views A and B and then you would come down and cut on this line for views C and D. So that's why you would use this same pattern piece which is piece number one and this is the dart that I noticed was in the pattern directions. So I have the darts put in and I'm working on the front twist part and I'd sewed it wrong the first time. So I want to show you how the front is supposed to go. So you are supposed to take the front piece here and this is on step number six and you fold the front piece onto itself and then you should have a dot. Mine is really little but you're going to sew from the corner to the dot and then you'll be able to move on to step number seven where this should create an opening here and then you should be able to pull the other side through the opening. So after you sew it all together you should have a hole here and I actually did this on the right front, but the directions say to do it on the left front, but it will still work out fine. You're going to take the corner on the opposite side and you're going to put it through the hole that's here. And I am just going to put a pin in here just to make it a little bit easier to get through the hole. So you're going to go through the top side and feed the corner through the hole and then it should come out on the other side of course then you are going to take this and pull it through and you're going to match it to this curvy side over here. There is a notch 
right here. So you want to put right sides together, pull it through until you can get it so that it can match. Fold it over so that your notches are lining up. And then you should have dots, which I went in here and made my dots a little bit bigger so that you can see them. You're going to sew up to the dot. Let me find it. There is one dot. And there is another dot right there. So you'll put these two together and sew up to the dot somewhere in here. And then you should have your front crossover together. All right, so I have sewn the edges together, flipped everything over, and this is what it's looking like from the right side.